teased. If you guys would like to pick this setup, you can do so at ringsidecollectibles.com using the promo code MDTOYS to save 10%. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we have another WWE Elite figure review for you guys, and it is a three-in-one review because we're taking a look at the brand new Shield 3-pack epic moment set right here. And I am I wasn't too happy with this set when they first released, you know, the images and stuff, but this box is sick as crap, guys. You can see, we'll go ahead and get straight into it. You see the box here. Um, pretty lengthy, I'm going to be honest with you. It's not as small as I was expecting. I think it may be a little bit bigger than the Milko Mania set. But you see here, it's got the Shield logo. Got Dean Ambrose right there. Roman Reigns and, of course, Seth freaking Rollins. Says the Shield there. On the top, it does say the Shield. On this side, you got a picture of all three members of the Shield. They totally Photoshopped their t-shirts on, I'm pretty sure. Um, but uh, I'm not I'm not complaining. That's that's cool. Whatever you want to do over here We have a shield logo again uh, Nothing on the bottom there and on the back We do have a cool image of the three right there where they reunited on Monday Night Raw And then over here you can see a little read up if you'd like to read that you can pause it right now But that is pretty freaking awesome. You got the little lightning bolt or whatever dividing it right there But uh, here we go. You open up the flappage. You got a piece of flappage. You open it You got the velcro on there and while the freaking bushka guys you see all the contents that we get on the inside Also some stuff down here. It says the hounds of justice got their wolf logos or whatever you want to call that down there um, It even has their name plates down here Dean Ambrose got his t-shirt Roman Reigns Reigns has his t-shirt and then Seth freaking Rollins with his t-shirt and of course they come with shield t-shirts so uh with that being said guys let's go ahead and crack the freaking shield out of their packaging the shield is back and here we have the hounds of justice out of the packaging guys Seth freaking Rollins Roman Reigns and Dean Mean Machine Ambrose as I call him here on the channel for some stupid idiot reason but uh these figures are fantastic I'm actually really excited for this set I feel like this set is very relevant right now just because, you know, they just got back together. Every single, like, main storyline on Monday Night Raw is focused around the Shield right now. And I don't know. I'm pretty happy with this set, to be honest with you, at first glance. You know, we are going to take a closer look at everything. But you do get three elite figures and six different cloth t-shirts from Mattel. Thank baby Jesus. They're all cloth. We're going to take a closer look at all of these accessories that we got. And we're going to take a closer look at every single member of the Shield. And we're going to compare them to their other figures, you know. We're going to talk about some comparisons, and I do have one big gripe, or actually two big gripes about this set, but we'll get into that later on. But anyways, guys, we'll take a closer look at all six shirts that you come with, and then we'll take a closer look at the Shield members themselves. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so getting into the accessories right here, you do get three different Shield shirts. Sight, guys, I don't think they're different. I think they're all the exact same. It would have been cool had, you know, Romans been sleeveless or something like that, but uh, it's all good. You do get three of these Shield shield shirts right here and I don't know if they're different I feel like the Roman one may be a tad bigger than Seth's and Dean's this one's Seth's this one is Roman's and then this one is Dean Ambrose's so I don't know if Seth's and Dean's are the same and then Roman's is slightly larger it seems like Roman's is slightly larger like the sleeves are a little bit longer but I'm not quite sure but you do get three of these nice shield t-shirts if you take a little zoom in shot you can see that decal it's the same one that's on the box back here so uh, that's pretty cool it seems pretty clear so I do like that I wish that Mattel would get away from that shiny fabric, but it's not a big deal to me. Here's our brand new Burn It Down Seth Rollins t-shirt, and this one's very nice. It fits the figure pretty nicely, and we're going to pop it on there later on in the video, but uh, this is a great t-shirt. I will actually want this one in real life, um, so I will be tracking that one down, but we do get the Burn It Down t-shirt. We get Roman Reigns, which I think this would have been better as a sleeveless shirt. I think if they molded it after the, you know, the, the Baron Corbin, the Elite 57 Baron Corbin shirt, I think it would be a lot better. You know, this is, uh, it was sleeveless on the night, so like on the back of the box, you can see a picture. Um, Roman had a sleeveless shirt of this on. And then we have Dean Ambrose's t-shirt, and I think, I'm not sure, I think we've had two sleeveless versions of this before. I think we got it with the SummerSlam figure and then the Elite 58 Dean Ambrose. Both of those were sleeveless, but this is our first time getting this shirt in short sleeves, so uh, that's pretty cool that it is a little bit different than those shirts. But that's pretty much it, guys. This is all the accessories you get. You get six claw t-shirts. It's a huge shout-out to Mattel, though for including the cloth and not making them rubber. That would have been a big deal breaker for me probably. But I'm happy with all six shirts. I think they all came out great. I think that I'll definitely get use out of every single one of them. So uh, yeah guys, that pretty much does it 
for uh, your accessories with the Shield Elite set. So now that we've covered the shirts, guys, let's take a closer look at the figures themselves. So I guess we can start things off with the big dog, guys. You can see right here, I'm pretty sure this is a new head scan, if I'm not mistaken. It may be the same as the brand new Elite 62. We are going to take a little comparison shot real quick. And as you can see, you have the brand new Shield Pack on the right and the Elite 62 on the left. And the Elite 62 does not have added beard detail. So this one is slightly uh, better, in my opinion. I like Roman with a full beard. Beard. I just think he looks more bad A that way. So I like the uh, the full beard look better. So I don't know, maybe we can do a little head swappage between the two. I think that would be a nice little head swap. I may do that later on. So you do have a little comparison between the Elite 62 right here. He does not come with a Roman vest, which I think is pretty interesting. I think this is the first Roman ever in the history of mankind to not come with a vest. And you'll see here, they did give him the new arm mold. And that's, a, that's terrible. I do not like these new arms or whatever you want to call it. They're just not ideal. I think they get pretty stiff compared to the older arm articulation. He does have the gray Roman logos and little designs going down. Gray Roman logos over here. The tattoo on the chest is effing massive. And I think that it used to just go over the peg. But now they've extended it to the ab crunch. And it actually cuts out the tattoo right there. So I don't know. They actually might have made the tattoo a bit darker as well. Um, if I have a Roman right here, I can take a little comparison with. You guys can see on the Elite 62 that the tattoo is slightly different. You see, it doesn't go below the, uh, yeah, they made it way more massive. So that's, that's weird. I don't know. I don't know. I don't like that at all, but, uh, I don't know. I think with a vest on, it would look a lot better because they actually did complete the shoulder tattoo, which looks so much better on the uh, shoulder there. They actually did, you know, go all the way underneath the shoulder. So that makes it look better, but on the chest, they sort of messed it up. And then pretty much from the waist down, it's your basic Roman Reigns or Shield Elite, guys. It's, uh, I think it is on ball joints. I'm pretty sure like all Roman figures. So that is a good deal for uh, customizers. So now that we have covered that, guys, let's take a few Roman Reigns figure comparisons. So here's a look at the brand new Elite Roman Reigns up next to a few others in my collection. I actually have like 15 or 16 more Elite Roman Reigns, but I didn't want to fit them all here. But we have the Elite 56 right here with a head swap. We have the brand new Elite 62 along with the new Shield 3 pack. And then we have a fix up Roman Reigns that I used with one of my other Elite 56 Romans with a shield vest. This is supposed to be like a current day Roman with the old shield vest on there. And then we we have the Elite 51 over here with the blue. And like I said, it's like they started with this head scan, and then they were like, yeah, we can go a step further, and they gave us this head scan. And then they were like, you know what, we can go a step further. They gave us this head scan. Then they gave us this head scan, and now we're left with this head scan. And it's crazy because it's like it gets better every single time. It's pretty impressive with Mattel getting better every single time with the big dog. I wish they would do that with every single other head scan. But now that we've covered the big dog, guys, let's move on to the Lunatic. So here we have the Lunatic fringe, guys, and finally, Freaking finally, we get a shirtless Dean Ambrose Elite. And honestly, it's probably a bit outdated now because he actually got a bit jacked in the offseason there with that injury there. But um, you know what? It's the same crazed Dean Ambrose head scan that we've seen 162 million and a half times. And I, I'm okay with it, I guess. I would have loved to seen brand new head scans for all three members. I think it would have done wonders for the Elite set itself. But I guess I can accept this head scan. I mean, whatever. It's whatever it is. Uh, they did give him the Daniel Bryan slash CM Punk slash whatever uh, torso that you want to call it here. I think that it would have been better had they gave him the Bo Dallas torso. Or, uh, yeah, I think that, that torso would have been better for him. However, I still like it. It still looks good. I've seen a ton of customs like this and um, I like it. It does work. He does have the terrible new arm mold which does suck, uh, but he does have black hand tape, which I think we've only seen one time before with Dean Ambrose. Maybe never. I can't remember if, if he's came with that before. I don't think he has, but I could be wrong. But we do have the new arm mold, and then of course we have these dark jeans, and I believe it's the same exact color that we got with the Elite 58 Dean Ambrose, but we are going to take a little comparison between all of the Dean Ambrose Elite figures, at least from the past few. We're not going to include his first two, just because they're a little bit different than these, but we are going to take a closer look at the rest of the Dean Ambroses that I have that are similar to this, so let's go ahead and move on to that. So taking a closer look at some other Dean Ambrose comparisons right here, guys, you have the brand new Elite Shield 3 pack in the middle, we have the Elite 36, the Network Spotlight, the SummerSlam figure with an arm swap. We have the Elite 58, we have the Elite 47, no, Elite 48, and then we have the Elite 41. So uh, here is your full Dean Ambrose collection besides his first two Elites and the Shield 3-pack Walmart exclusive. And uh, that's crazy.
crazy that we had this many Deans. There's literally not very much difference to any of them. Let's be honest, the only attire that we don't have from Dean Ambrose is maybe some of his different t-shirts like this, and then we don't have his, uh, his gray wife-beating shirt or sleeveless shirt, whatever you want to call that. But uh, I love the sleeveless look. I think, again, the Bo Dallas treatment would have been better for the torso. But I still think it's pretty cool. It is the same color as the Elite 58 right here. And I like it. It's a bit different. You know, the head scan could have done better. I think a new head scan would have been amazing for this figure. It would have done wonders for the three-pack itself. But you do get uh, two sleeveless shirts to go on this Dean Ambrose if you don't want the, sleeve or the shirtless look. But I for one do love this shirtless look so that is pretty much it for that guys so let's pretty much move on to seth freaking rollins so last but not least guys we do have my favorite member of the shield and one of my favorite superstars right here seth freaking rollins and um i like this figure the most out of all three i can say that for a fact because it is a lot different it does have the older arm mold the only gripe there are a few complications with this figure that we're going to get into first of all the head scan the head scan is literally that same smiling face head scan that we have seen since elite 45 and that was over 15 series ago guys that was seven 17 different Elite series ago, and I think that it's time for a new Seth Rollins head scan. Why couldn't they put the Elite 64 or the new Top Talents head scan on this thing? I think that would have done, uh, no, uh, again, this would have been a huge step forward for the three pack, and I think they would have sold a lot more had they, you know, updated this head scan. But um, I don't know, it's it's not a bad head scan. I'm just sick of seeing it. It's kind of like the screaming head scan, you just get sick of looking at it. Or had they rehashed the Elite 37, you know, the more complicated, harder to find head scan, that would have been a better job there for me. But we do have that same uh, hairy chest torso for Seth. I think this is a perfect torso choice. I love it a lot. We get the old arms, and this is a big thing because the TNF figure that's everybody's gonna say it's the same attire it is actually not the same attire we're gonna take a look right here because I have it handy dandy notebook um, it is not the same at all it's actually a step up because this is more accurate it may not be accurate to the night that the shield reformed but it's actually a lot more accurate to when he actually debuted this attire at extreme rules 2016 when he returned from injury and attacked Roman Reigns this is a lot more accurate I'll pop a picture up on the screen you can see that uh, that light gray is actually a lot more accurate than the TNF and the TNF is actually more accurate to the Shield reunion than this one. So I think that's pretty cool. I think that uh, they did mess up right here, though, as you'll see on the waist. They did not continue the stripes, so I guess I'll have to continue the stripes myself. But I'm gonna, I am gonna—I think I'm going to use this as a Extreme Rules 2016 return Seth Rollins instead of a Shield reunion Seth Rollins. They actually did the belt differently, as you can see right here. Um, it's more of a square. I actually think I like this one better than this one. This is a bit too big for me. I like this one a lot more subtle. It's not as standout-ish or whatever. And uh, going down into the knee pads, this is another bum. Uh, they put solid black knee pads instead of that light gray color on the face of them. So I guess I'm going to have to sort of paint match that if I can. So I'll have to go through my grays and try to match it as best as I can. But uh, you can see the grays are completely different. This is my Seth Rollins fix-up that I did. I didn't like the screaming head, so I popped this one on here. And then I switched out the shoulders and did the arm swap so he'd have the old articulation. But I don't have to do that with this one because it actually has the old arm. So that is fantastic. But that pretty much does it for the Seth freaking Rollins. Again, it's it's a lot better than the TNF figure to me. And it's, uh, I don't know, I, I like it a lot more. So that pretty much does it for the Seth figure. Now let's take a closer look at some other Seth Rollins comparisons. So here we have the new Shield 3-pack Rollins up next to the Elite 57, the SummerSlam, the TNF, the Elite 45, the Elite 52, and another TNF Rollins. I didn't put any of my custom Rollins in this batch, and that is because I don't know why. I just didn't do it. I wanted to compare the new Shield 3-pack one to the rest of Mattel Seth Rollins. We're missing the Elite 37 and his other Shield figures, but I figured these would look the best to compare them to. And you can see again with the gray, this was my uh, Extreme Rules return Seth Rollins figure, but now I think if I pop that shirt over here, match that gray, maybe switch up the head scan, bam! Beautiful looking Seth Rollins. I am actually used this Seth at sold out, who really knows? But uh, I, I enjoy this Seth Rollins figure, and I think it's one of the better ones. With those old arms and uh, the updated gray and the smaller belt and everything, I, I think I like this figure more than the TNF. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, that pretty much does it for this Elite Shield 3-pack review. If you would like to pick these figures up, you can do so at ringsidecollectibles.com using the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Again, I was underestimating this set. 
I came into this set, you know, not very high expectations. I was thinking, oh, what a waste of an epic moments. I still, you know what I'm saying? I could have seen better epic moments, but I still like this set. I think it's a cool set, especially right now at the peak of the Shield reunion. I think it was smart to release this set, you know. The hype for the Shield is crazy right now, so I think that that was a good move. They are going to sell a ton of these, and you guys should definitely be one of them. Go pick up one of these Shield 3-packs, guys. Definitely not a waste of money. You get a shirtless Dean Ambrose. You get a cool updated Roman Reigns head scan. You get a bad A, one-of-a-kind Seth Rollins figure, and then you get six cloth t-shirts. So you cannot beat this set. I think it's a great one. Definitely, uh, I would say triple the value of the Walmart exclusive Shield 3-pack. I think that that one was just eh, in my opinion. So this is definitely worth the pickup, guys. But thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below your favorite member of the Shield as well as what you thought of this set. Do you think it's worth picking up? What are your thoughts on the set if you bought it yourself? But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.